Right, folks, um, I've got this bottle, and we used to sell these, oh, a couple of years ago at least. We've got a nice bottle top on it. I'm going to take that off while I uh, cover it, though. And I'm using the Heavy Gesso in white. This one's more of a paste. And I'm just going to cover the whole thing. This is the back. I will be making some clay embellishments. We're going to do those next because I've got some uh, light and fluffy mould um, modelling paste that I want to use. Ready for this lot. I just need to let that dry. And then, uh, if needs be, we shall put another coat on. Right, okay, I think we can use this one. It's like little bobbly bits. Just want to clean it out. Uh, I'm going to try it with the uh, air dry clay to start with. Because we need to get that on the bottle to dry as soon as. Um, so that's for the satin, we need one for the bottom section, which I think I'm going to use this one here. This one. I need way too much on that. Yeah. 
Ja. No, I don't want to do that. So I've got that one. Just spotted a little bit there once filling in. Let's just fill them in. And we can do them. We can use them in other projects if we don't use them in this. Right, we're just going to leave that. As long as I've got a couple of pieces for it. Not sure what that one is, I can't remember to be honest. Let me just have a go. We'll have a go at putting this one in. I think it's cherubs. Yeah, I think it's uh, two cherubs kissing, look. Right, good morning everyone. Now, um, last night before I went to bed, I decided to do some um, of the moulds because I'm going to need them. So I've done some. I've done a good mixture to be honest. I won't bother about them bits, they do pull off. Uh, So, right, where's my bucket of moulds? But I did try different things. I just, I mean, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? I'll clean them all up later. Now, I'm not sure how many of these are going to be dry. And that I want for the projects I've got at the moment. So, let's put that there. They're quite nice, aren't they? I just wanted a band to go across. See, last night I put this on the bottle. That's done with clay. Uh, I'm going to paint this again this morning and then put the picture on. But I just want a little band here and here. So I did a couple of... Oh, look, you see, that's come off. But I'm not fussed about it. Because they're going to be taken off anyway. They can be broken apart, you see, like that. Uh, I'm not going to make any more. Now, I don't know whether these will all be dry. No, they don't look it. They need to be drier than that. This was one I made of a... No, I don't think... No, it's not dry. I'll just push that back in. Depends how deep. No, nope, I don't think that's ready either. So all those that are not ready, we'll just leave to one side. No, nope, I don't think that's ready. None of these are ready. They do take a couple of days. And um, let's have a look at this one. No, and if they're not ready, there's no point in forcing the issue. I know they're not ready. That one might be. Not quite. So I'm just going to leave those for another day. Even these smaller ones. No, they're not ready. Like I say... Leave them for another day or two, and then they should be fine. That's fine. And that one. Right, okay. Yep, that's fine. We can use that one. This, I think, is a cherub one. Yeah, that one. Wasn't quite set on the cheek there, so that's fine. We can sort that out. 
but yeah that can be used that'd be nice And that's nice. I like that one. I just did so many so that I can get on with some projects. Nope, that's not ready. Nice, nice little crown can be used. And I've done this one. I'm not sure if I can lift this one out. Some of these can be quite delicate. Oh no, that's fine. That's great. Well, yeah, that's fine. So we've got a little frame there that we can use. Unfortunately, there's a piece missing here, but I can fill that in or leave as is. It really doesn't matter at all. So that's a little frame can be used. And there's another one. I'm not fussed about these bits here. These can come out. You just pull them out. See, like that. So that's another little frame can be used. I really must take these uh, and get them washed. Right, let's have a look. <coughs> now, we've got another set of those. I actually broke that one yesterday by mistake, but I'm not fussed. I'm not fussed because it can just go back together. Just glue it back together like that. And then we can get rid of all that rubbish. Now the stuff I used is the light modelling paste, which is that one. Light and fluffy modelling paste. I do have to tell you, when I looked on eBay for this, they were selling this up to £56 for one tub. I've paid, um, I think it was £11 for the 8 ounce, which is expensive to me, but you can you can get it. I, the last one I got was only £8 for an 8 ounce. Um, and like I say, it, it's really good, it does work, and it mostly dries overnight. But, oh, you just got to be careful. I mean, there was three or four of them selling them for between uh, 35 and 50 Six fifty seven pound, and one was fifty eight actually. See, like that. So I've got a couple of these now because I did one last night. And this is why I bought these uh, moulds that are not too deep. Because they dry quicker, obviously. So we've got a couple of those to play around with. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh... I'm going to do one of those again. Uh, uh, this is another one. Let me just put these over there. I mean, I did these as well. These smaller ones. Because they're great for the baubles and that, or the bottles that I'm doing. Now, I also did this one. Which, this is the first time I've used that particular one. But I like it. What a nice little delicate uh, trim. 
that you can use on a above a picture or something. Oh, that's come off that. I've just done that. Above a picture or something. When it's glued on, it won't make any difference. And then I did have this one, which I've never used. I think I used it for printing with. But what I liked about it, look. I can put that as a background. You know, just to fancy something up. And I've just realised the other bit of it's there, but never mind that, never mind. I can still put a little oval of that if I want to. So I did like that. And I've got others like this that I thought, well, I could try something very similar. And it does work, so I'm pleased about that. Yeah, I'll have to make some more. You just take it off, you just got to... That's it. And it's just uh, mainly for doing imprint on things. But yeah, I like that. That's quite nice. Right, what I've got is I have my picture that I've chosen for my bottle, which is going to go on there. I just need, and, and then I think what we're going to do is, um, I might do that with it, you know, frame that picture. Um, not sure, not sure at the moment. But I need to cover this a little bit more anyway, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, my phone. Please stop, whoever you are. <laughs> Let me just look at the crackle, because I wanted uh, that one I think I'm going to use, to be honest. This I'm using is the crackle medium. I'll show you in a minute. And that's the primer. So I'm going to use that first. I might just change my mind on this bottle, I'm not sure. Oh, right. I need to see what it does. Right, I'm going to let that dry. I don't want this... Well, it's, it's going anyway, so... Right, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little bit of uh, patina. Let's put that there, because that needs um, sorting out. I'm going to use this colour. I love the uh, colour on this. I'm 
see it's running in all to the nooks and crannies and it's ages it so well but it's not quite dry so I'm not going to spoil it Right, okay, and I'm not even going to touch the glass uh, bottle at the moment with my hands, not yet. Now, I can't use the picture on it now, so I'm going to have to choose something for the centre, because I do want something on it. I like the cherubs, so I think I'm going to choose the cherubs for one side. And let me see for the, what I'm going to use for the other. So I could just use that for the back of it. I do like that. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah, no, I'll change my mind. I'm going to do that. But I'm going to cut this. Uh, so I'm going to cut that off. Because that's what I like about these. You can cut them. And then you can use those. Don't waste them. Never waste anything. Right, so now what I'm going to do is use my diamond glaze glue. I've just sent some more of that. God, it's getting more and more expensive for all of these things. I couldn't believe that light and fluffy modelling paste. Uh, you know, from £8 on up to anything up to 50 odd. And most of them were charging £35 for that one tub for eight ounce. I, I was appalled, to be honest. I tried writing to one of them, but they won't let you. They've stopped all that, that you know, where you're trying to just you want them to justify their prices when you and then i was shared in trying to share a picture online with the company that was selling it for 50 58 it was 56 58 pound so i took a photograph of the one that was selling it for eight and one of selling it for 35 and then i was sending it to one that was selling it for 58 it's exactly the same product and to tell them that they are so if their customers knew what they were doing, they wouldn't have a sale. And I don't care. You can't fiddle people like that. That's just outrageous. But they wouldn't let me do it. So... Right, now I've got my little dobbers here. 
and I need um, a piece of card, which we're going to use this one. What I love about it is this, what um, putting the crackle um, primer on and then heated it up and because the primer is just like a glue and then what it's done when you heat glue up it bubbles and it gives you that beautiful effect like that. So yeah, I'm quite thrilled with this. I might just be able to just soak that a minute and just do it with my fingers just to highlight that. That's a bit better, yeah. It's like wipe on, wipe off when you use a sponge. But you see how that sticks out more. So I'm going to go over everything again. Oh, yes, definitely. Beautiful. Love it. I'm just going to go over the bobble bits as well, just to make them stand out that little bit more. And then we're just going to go over this again. Just to highlight it a little bit more. Definitely. Love it. It wasn't a perfect mould, but I didn't want to waste it. I haven't wasted it. And I'm quite happy with that. So, let me just get that bit out of my nail.
and that was the Inca Gold Viva. So, where's the lid? Now, I got the ribbon out for that, but I'm not going to use a ribbon on this one, I don't think. I don't think I need to. I love that like that. I'm not even going to touch the... I love the glass top as well. I just think that's gorgeous. Now, the only thing I'm going to do, right, and the only thing that's left for me to do is where's my pen tart? Is it this one? Or this one? No, it's not that one. Now, I've got some like a waxy stuff here. Um, and beautiful. I love this. This is the last bit that I'm going to do. Do you remember I made the mistake here? Well, what you do is you paint that on like that and then you just buff. In fact, I might use my finger. I'm going to paint it on round the edge and just buff it on like that. Oh, it's kind of... Uh, hmm, let me see. Oh, no, I like it like that. Oh, it's given that such a sheen. See, like that. Oh, I like. Just going round the edge and then buffing that up and blending that in. Yeah, I like that. Blend that in. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's given it a, a lovely colour. Wow. Yeah, like that. What a colour. Oh, love it. And, and this is the um, antique paste. See, we've got the colour from that to that. And I like that one, I think. Right, I'm not sure if that one actually worked, so I, I'm going to leave it like that and then just varnish it later on. It has to dry out, it's quite hot to touch. But as you can see, I think it turned out pretty well. I love the colouring it's happened. I, it's just that mottled colour and it's quite nice. Just from a plain glass to that, a good transformation and you can do it on anything it doesn't have to be a flat surface either if you've got a surface that's like this you can still do something like that and I've several bottles I could do like this so that's it thanks for watching take care have a go and um, bye bye for now